So it's autumn, um, and I guess it's a time of year for reflection, going into winter. Um, and also for me, um, Peter Marstone on, on YouTube, a thousand subscribers, so thank you very much for that. And it's also coincidentally pretty much a year since I started my channel, so I've um, got a new camera, as you might have guessed. Um, hopefully you can see the difference in the quality of the shots. Um, I thought I'd take this time, yeah, just to reflect on the, the year and then think about what's going to happen in the next year for me and, and for my channel. So I started off this channel, as you might have seen, just as a channel to kind of document the things I'm trying to do as I'm getting, moving towards, a, hopefully moving towards an off-grid, more sustainable lifestyle. Um, and I didn't really know where that was going to take me, where the channel was going to take me. Um, and I've done essentially two, two or three projects this year. Um, the biogas, the straw bale shed, and then the rocket stoves. Uh, there's a few other little ones in there, but those are the, the, the main projects that I had. And the biogas was something that I, I really wanted to do, and it, it's been popular with quite a lot of people, so I'm glad some people have got some value out of that. It hasn't been successful as I would have wanted it to be. Um, mostly that's down to two reasons. Um, neglect for probably six months this year while I was doing the straw bale shed. Um, and not really paying enough attention to the inputs and stuff like that. Um, I've got some gas out of it, but it's nowhere near the capacity it should be. That's mostly because I've um, been overfeeding it and it's been acidifying. So um, we're at the stage now where I'm gonna have to re-seed it again. Um, this time I think we're gonna have to completely start from scratch and just really take it slow. Um, in these temperate climes, I think it's it's yeah, it's a bit more difficult, and you pay a bit more attention to where it's the kind of the tropical climate. So that's a reflection on, on the biogas there. Um, we will get there. I will persist, um, but yeah, it's going to take a bit more time. Hopefully, this winter we can really get it sorted. Um, invest a bit more time and energy to to, to focus on that. Um, in the straw bale sheds, it's. Incredible looking back at the old videos and seeing the space that was the, the old sheds um, and what it's become now and that has been I mean a success all around the, the learning about the different methods the, the straw baling um, the plastering which was a big steep learning curve learning about that um, the the roof, the green roof, which I'm just so happy with. It's it's looking awesome and it's kind of taken on a life of its own. Um, we'll see what happens next year. Um, back into the summer, it struggled in the summer for sure, um, just because of the depth of the soil on there, but it's still alive and that's the main thing. Um, yeah, so the straw bale shed, I think is my, been my favorite project this year. The, the gut biogas has been the one that I've just kind of not really kind of properly got into enough. Um, I've still got lots of bits around that that I really want to do. Um, all the monitoring system, I'm accumulating the bits to be able to do that properly as well. Um, I've got my pressure sensors and things like that. It's just about coding it all together now, which is um, something that's not really my comfort zone, but it's something that I know uh, I can do if I, if I apply myself. So yeah, that's been that's been great. Um, lots of experience. I, I never ex really expected to, to, to hit a thousand subscribers uh, within the year. I'm, I'm happy that some people have found value in, in those videos. Um, but I mean, I know there's, there's people that I follow on YouTube that um, have, have done some really amazing things. Um, and I hope that whatever I end up doing in, in the future, that maybe some of people can get some value from that as well. Um, as for me, this next year, kind of looking forward, um, this next six months with my, my PhD is going to be very intense, um, so my video uh, output is going to probably drop really low, um, but hopefully we're finishing that next year and then moving on to some, 
some exciting things. We'll see what happens. But yeah, this this is just kind of a, a summary of, of what's been happening on my channel. And I'd really like to hear from, from you guys as to kind of what you uh, liked about this year's videos, um, what you think um, I could be doing next with these videos. And yeah, just generally hearing from from everyone who, who of those thousand people who have thought there might be some value in my channel and, and subscribed. Um, yeah, I think this time of year is a, a really nice time of year to kind of reflect on that kind of thing and really kind of take some time, especially coming out into nature. Um, I'm so lucky that I have this on my doorstep, um, but everyone has a little bit of nature near them, I'm sure that they can appreciate. Um, taking that time to just reflect on things and, and really kind of look after yourself really make sure you have the space to let your let your mind take care of itself rather than just going all the time and I think doing a PhD you kind of um, realize that that is that can be an issue but yeah I hope everyone's had a great year um, and look into this kind of change of seasons and into the winter has a, a safe and healthy winter and I hope you can keep enjoying the videos that I'm producing so yeah all right catch you on the next one